Northeast Zonal Coordinator for NEMA, Sirajo Abdullahi. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, let's turn to other stories. The Department of State Services has released the president of the Nigeria Labor Congress, Joe Ajero. He was released late last night after hours of interrogation and his travel passport seized. The NLC says it remains vigilant and will conduct a comprehensive medical check up, uh, medical check up on his president. Mr. Ajero was arrested on Monday on his way to the United Kingdom for an official assignment when he was picked up at the Namdi Azikiwe International Airport, Abuja. It came about one week after he honored an invitation by the police over an investigation into terrorism financing. The presidency has reacted to a statement by the leader of the United Kingdom Trade Union Congress alleging human rights abuses and violations in Nigeria. The presidency insists the Nigerian government was wrongly and falsely accused of rights abuse because the NLC president, Joe Ajero, was stopped from traveling abroad after he snubbed the invitation of a law enforcement agency conducting an ongoing investigation. A statement issued by the President's Special Advisor on Information and Strategy, Bayo Anonuga, says, Clearly, under the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria 1999 as amended, no person is above the summons of law enforcement agencies and lawful investigation. The Nigerian government says it rejects any notion and allusion to human rights violation in Nigeria, insisting the accusations made by the Trade Union Congress in the United Kingdom unfounded and based on a misunderstanding of the situation. Now to other stories. As the world navigates challenging times, Governor of Lagos State Babajide Sowolu has called on Nigerians to collaborate with the government to address pressing issues. He made this appeal at the 24th Annual National Women's Conference of the Committee of Wives of Lagos State Officials with a theme, saw beyond boundaries and rich communities. Senior correspondent Adido Jasalama Dini reports. Saw beyond boundaries is a call to action. An invitation to women to step up, take charge, and create lasting change. This two-day hybrid conference brings together more than 4,500 participants including 3,000 physical and 1,500 virtual attendees, all with the goal of empowering women and unlocking their full potential. A lot of us are too comfortable in our zones. We need to soar beyond boundaries and reach our communities. A lot has been deposited in all of us. Some of you have opportunity to go to school. Some of you have been given opportunities to be in some positions. Please, let us utilize these positions. Together with Ibijo Kesonwulu, Deputy Governor of Akwa Ibom State, who represented a governor as the special guest of honor, the wives of the governors of Ogun, Oshu, Bayesa, Boronu, Tletu, and Imo states say they are united with a common goal to create a brighter future for the society they call home. Governor Sonwulu and Governor of Akwa Ibom State emphasized the importance of collective efforts in driving positive change and building a better future for Nigeria. It's only when we believe that when all of us work together, when all of us study together, that we can solve our problems collectively. We know that it is a time for us to tighten our belt. Nigeria will be better than what it is today. I solicit continued support for the President, His Excellency Bola Ahmed Tinobu, as he painstakingly steers the nation towards the promised land. Thank you. At the event, the Inspirational Woman of the Year Award went to Senior Special Assistant to the President on Sustainable Development Goals, Adejoke Orelope Adefugiwe. With her capacity as the SSA to the President on SDGs, she has provided strategic direction and coordination in the overall implementation of the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development in Nigeria. Adidoja Salam Adenihi, TBC News, Lagos. Thanks for staying with us. Let's now turn to the ICT sector. The federal government, through the National Center for Artificial Intelligence and Robotics, has opened applications for a 100 million naira artificial intelligence fund. 
The initiative, which is supported by tech giant Google, is aimed at supporting Nigerian startups that are leveraging artificial intelligence to develop innovative solutions. TVC News senior reporter Theophilos Silama has details. Artificial intelligence was primarily an emerging field with limited applications in Nigeria. However, with the rise of global AI advancements and the recognition of its transformative power, Nigeria began to witness a shift in mindset. Entrepreneurs, researchers and policymakers are beginning to explore the possibilities AI could offer in addressing local needs and driving economic growth. To further develop the capacity of tech experts, the federal government unveiled the AI Fund, which is designed to empower entrepreneurs with the resources they need to create impactful AI solutions. We're also accelerating investment in our computing infrastructure through an initial partnership with 21st century uh, technologies to secure GPUs in support of the development of critical AI solutions of national interest. Part of our further investment in the development of AI and its application, I am very glad to announce the launch of the AI Fund in collaboration with Google. I think we should give a round of applause to the folks from Google. Developing AI policies and regulatory frameworks that ensure safety, privacy, and security while fostering innovation is essential. The minister noted that selected startups will receive up to 10 million naira in funding, along with access to Google's extensive resources, including AI tools, mentorship, and a global network designed to help them scale their innovations. We think about this beginning at the infrastructure level. We need the compute necessary in order to train the models, in order to develop the specific applications we want, whether in healthcare or any other sector. Then we need to make sure there's data, data that's specific, to the healthcare problems of the society or region or issue that we're dealing with. So the fund from Google is going to start first by funding 10 innovative ideas uh, to build uh, the uh, technology solutions that will put into use uh, artificial intelligence to help in critical sectors in the country. As one of the key drivers behind the evolution of AI in Nigeria, the federal government says it has taken steps to foster innovation and create an enabling environment for AI research and development. Theophilus Ilama, TVC News, Lagos. The new permanent secretary, Cabinet Affairs Office, in the office of the secretary to the government of the Federation, Umobong Okop, has formally assumed duty. Dr. Mobong, in a statement by the Director of Information and Public Relations, expressed her commitment and readiness to work with the staff of the Cabinet Affairs Office and also solicited their support and cooperation. She also promised to provide leadership that will promote efficiency, job satisfaction, conducive work environment, and a robust reward system. Prior to her appointment as Permanent Secretary, she served at the State House Medical Center, rising through the ranks to become a director. She was appointed by President Bola Tinubu on July the 10th. The Consul General of the People's Republic of China is confident that a China-Nigeria relations will further bring rapid economic development to Nigeria. This optimism was expressed at the Dialogue of Business Elites Lagos Forum, organized to review the outcome of President Bola Tinubu's visit to China. Senior reporter Lawakon reports, and then we'll return with business updates. President Bola Tinubu's visit to China for the 2024 Forum on China-Africa Cooperation may have come and gone, but the impact on both countries is expected to linger for long. This gathering is a dialogue between leaders of some Chinese and Nigerian enterprises, and the essence is to reveal the outcome of the 2024 FOCAC Summit. The direct Chinese investment in Nigeria is said to have reached $2.32 billion, and the recent discussions between the presidents of China and Nigeria have resulted in the elevation of comprehensive strategic partnership. The Consul General says China is ready to promote the reinforcement of high-quality development in Nigeria. China is ready to help Africa improve its capacity in safeguarding peace and stability independently, prioritize Africa in implementing the Global Security Initiative, promote mutual reinforcement. China has invested heavily 
is all over the place, whether it's the lucky port, whether it's the airports, you see China footprint everywhere. But the balance of trade has been heavily in favor of China. We think that China is an important market already for Nigeria's oil and gas, agriculture and products. But we think we need to move forward to, to begin to develop a market in China for manufactured goods coming out of Nigeria. China's ongoing investment in Nigeria, industrial energy and technological sectors, coupled with Nigeria's openness to such collaboration, have produced impressive results. From the Belt and Road Initiative to the recent engagements with a few Fortune 500 companies and other Chinese companies, the potential for growth remains vast. The recent FOCAC summit has elevated China-Africa relations to a new level with a focus on advancing key characteristics of modernization through fairness and equality, prioritizing people-oriented development, embracing diversity and inclusiveness, promoting eco-friendly practices, and enhancing peace and security. Ola Awakon, TVC News, Lagos.